Namaste. It's Evelina here. Welcome to this 25 minutes yoga practice. So during this class, I will do my best to make you feel open, energized and refreshed during this short time. So let's begin sitting upright with your spine straight in any comfortable position for yourself. So maybe just with the crossed legs in any way you like, half lotus or full lotus. And just taking a little moment in here to connect to your breath. So closing your eyes, making all your body relaxed, bringing awareness to your spine with the inhalation, lengthening your spine from its base all the way to your top of the head, and with exhalation releasing any tensions. Deep inhale, and complete exhale. Let's take a couple of deep breaths in here. Inhale into your belly, ribs and chest, allowing it to expand. And with exhalation, release the air first from your chest, ribs and belly. Two more breaths in here. Inhale, expanding your belly, ribs, chest. And exhale out of your chest, ribs and belly. Last time, deeply inhale, full expansion of your belly, ribs and chest. And complete exhale, releasing any tensions, releasing the air from chest, ribs and belly. And now slowly opening your eyes. With inhalation, lifting your hands up, gazing up. Exhale, twisting to the left side, gazing to the back. Let's take two breaths in here. Inhale, lengthening the spine. And exhale, twisting a little deeper. One more breath, deep inhale. And complete exhale, twisting deeper. Now inhale back to the center, lifting your arms up, stretching up. And exhale to the other side. And again, two breaths, inhale, lengthening the spine, exhale, twisting deeper, and one more time, inhale, lifting, and exhale, twisting. Inhale, back to the center, exhale, dropping your left palm down, and stretching your right arm towards the left side, at the same time, opening your chest up towards the sky. Inhale, back to the center. And exhale, switching the side. So you really want to ground that left hip down on the floor and stretch your left fingers towards the right side. Inhale, back. And exhale, rolling your shoulders to the back. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, opening the chest. And exhale, shoulder blades towards each other. Another direction. Inhale. And exhale, this time closing your elbows, sucking your belly in and pushing your pelvis forward. One more movement in here. And now interlock your fingers with inhalation, stretch up. And exhale, release. Perfect. Releasing your legs and moving into the cat and cow pose. So spreading your fingers wide, palms underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips, ankles at the same distance. And inhale, tailbone up and vertebra by vertebra, all the spines opening, head to the head up. <laughs> Exhale, tailbone down, vertebra by vertebra, head going down. Inhale, opening your chest. Exhale, sucking your belly in, pushing your back up. Inhale, one more time in here. Exhale. And inhale back to the center. Now placing your left palm right underneath your face. And with inhalation, lifting your right arm up. And exhale, sliding the arm on the floor on the side. Now you may just stay in here, or if you feel like then stretching your left leg and holding onto your foot with your right palm. Inhale, lifting your left arm up and exhale, opening your chest a little more, holding your palm on the lower back 
we think opening the chest towards the sky. And inhale, release, exhaling here. And inhale, lifting up, opening your chest. Exhale, back to the center. Let's switch the sides. Now, right palm underneath your face. Inhale, opening your chest. Exhale, sliding your arm towards the side. Maybe staying in here or maybe stretching your right leg, holding with your palm. Inhale, opening your chest. And exhaling here, palm to the lower back. Just one more breath. And inhale. Exhaling here. Inhale, back up. And exhale, releasing. Inhale, tucking your toes in. And exhale, lifting up to downward facing dog. Maybe holding your knees bent and just working on lengthening the spine. Just taking one deep breath in here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, moving to the plank. A little bit more forward. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, plank. Forward a little bit. Exhale, downward dog. And last time, inhale, plank a little forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bending your knees and then stepping or jumping to the front. Halfway lift on the inhalation. Exhale, folding down. Separating your feet, hip width apart. And grabbing onto opposite elbows. Just swinging your body gently side to side. Releasing any tensions, breathing deeply. And inhale, rolling up vertebra by vertebra. Opening yourself in here. Standing at the top of your mat in Samasthiti. All the body weight is distributed equally over your feet. Four corners of your feet grounded down. Inhale, lifting your hands up, gazing up. Exhale, folding forward from your hip joint. Inhale, head up, open chest. Exhale, stepping your right foot far away to the back, dropping your knee. And inhale, opening your chest in here. Exhale, sinking a little deeper. Inhale, pass to the floor. Exhale, sink even deeper. Raising your foot. Placing your left foot on the outer side of the mat. Right palm underneath the right shoulder. And your left foot 45 degrees. Now just opening in here, pushing over your left leg, allowing it to open a little more. And then grabbing onto the right foot, bringing it close to the glute. At the same time, sinking your hips down towards the floor. Exhale, releasing. Back to the plank. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, all the body in one line, maybe with your knees on the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot between the palms, dropping your knee. Inhale, opening your chest. Exhale, sinking deeper. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, palms back to the floor, releasing your foot. And exhale, sinking your hips a little more. Now left palm under the left shoulder, right foot to the corner, to the edge of the mat, 45 degrees. Palm on the inside, inhale, open. And exhale, sinking your hips deeper. Holding onto your left foot, sinking your hips down on the exhalation. And inhale, release. Exhale, back to the center. Inhale, straightening the leg. And exhale, stepping to the front, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up with a gentle bend to the back. Exhale, back to Samasthiti. Other side. Inhale, open yourself up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, head up, straight spine. Exhale, left foot back, dropping your knee. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, sinking deeper. 
in her hand to the floor, opening herself more, releasing that foot, exhale, sinking even deeper. Left palm on the left shoulder, foot 45 degrees. Inhale, open, exhale, twist. Inhale, bend, and exhale, pull the heel towards the glute. Inhale, release, and exhale to the plank. Inhale, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot between the palms. Exhale, dropping the knee. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, sinking deeper. Inhale, palms down to the floor. And exhale, sinking your head even more down. Right palm on the right shoulder. Left foot to the edge of the mat, 45 degrees. Inhale, open your shoulder here and exhale, pushing the little down. Inhale, bending the right leg. Exhale into your glutes. And inhale, straightening the left foot. Exhale, stepping to the front to forward fold. Inhale, going up all the way, bending back. Exhale, Samasthiti. Good job. Inhale, lifting both hands up. Exhale, bending back and same here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, head up. Exhale, jump back into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And now, bringing your feet cross to the front and just sitting with your legs in front of you. Bringing your glutes back for Paschimottanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lifting your hands up. And exhale, folding forward. So wherever you are, maybe your palms are somewhere in here. You want to really bring your ribcage first towards the thighs, then your chest. And then your head is the last one. Stay here for three breaths. Instead of bringing your head first, work on the ribcage first. Two more breaths. Slow and deep. Last breath. And inhale, lifting up. Exhale, bringing your palms behind you. And just inhale, opening your chest a little more. Exhale, release. Now bending your right foot, keeping little space between your inner foot and inner thigh. Bringing heel close to the glute. Inhale, lifting your left arm up. And exhale, sucking your belly in and just hooking your arm on the side in here. With inhalation, lifting up. With exhalation, twisting a little deeper. Inhale. Exhale, twisting deeper. Twists are excellent for our digestive system, for our spine. And inhale back to the center. Exhale, release. Let's do it on the other side. So bending the left foot, leaving the space between inner foot, inner thigh. Inhale, lifting your right arm up. And exhale, sucking your belly in and twisting. Try to minimize the distance between your ribcage and your thigh. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, twist to the back. Let's take two more breaths in here. And so you're not leaning towards your back arm. Your head is above your hips. One more deep inhale. Exhale, hips. And inhale back to the center. Exhale. Relax into the moment. Let's bring our feet together into Baddha Konasana. So heels close to the groin. And first just interlocking your fingers over your toes. And moving your feet, your knees up and down, up and down a couple of times. And then from here, opening your feet like a book. Inhale, opening your chest. And exhale, folding a little down. 
as deeply as possible for today. Just a little moment in here. And inhale, slowly rolling yourself up. Exhale, release it. Good job. Pounce on either side of the thighs and stepping back into Chaturanga Dandasana on the exhalation. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step front. Exhale, release your legs to the front. Now we will just open right leg to the outside. So you really want to leave that left leg long in here. Hips open as much as possible. Inhale, opening your chest. And exhale, folding down. So maybe somewhere in here, maybe holding on to the big toe, keeping your arm on the inner side of your leg. Inhale, lifting other arm up. And exhale, stretching the side of your body. Maybe holding onto your foot. Or maybe just stretching your arm in the other direction. And inhale, back up. Switching the sides. Opening your hips wide. Inhale. And exhale, lowering down. Anywhere where you are for today. Inhale, lifting your left arm up. And exhale, side stretch. Slow and steady breathing. And inhale, back up. Exhale, release. Good job. Let's move down to our belly. Laying on the mat. On your belly. Just placing your palms on either side of your hips with your palms facing up. Feet together. And now inhale, lifting your legs and your chest up. Let's take it for three breaths. Deep inhale. Complete exhale. Shalavasana is excellent posture for strengthening your back muscles. Inhale. And exhale, releasing. And now slowly placing your palms on either side of your chest. And with inhalation, just pushing yourself a little up. In here, you may keep your feet hip width apart. Elbows close to the chest. Keeping your pelvis on the floor. Just gently opening yourself in here. Deep inhale. And exhale slowly back to the floor. Bending your knees and stepping back to downward facing dog. And then stepping to the front and laying on your back. Bending your knees. Heels close to the glutes. And then holding onto your ankles for Setu Bandhasana. Inhale, pushing your hips up. Maybe interlocking your fingers in here, clasping your wrists together and just pushing your hips up. Three breaths. Two. And exhale, slowly release. Knees to the chest. Gentle massage for your lower back. Knees to the chest, inhale. And exhale, dropping your knees to the right side and stretching your left arm on the left side, gazing left. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, twisting left, stretching your right arm to the right side and gazing right. Deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale back to the center and exhale gently massaging your back and then moving for practice of Sharvanga Sana shoulder stand. Placing your palms on the sides of your hips, legs up and with the next inhalation lifting your hips up all the way. If you're struggling here you may keep first your knees bent, palms on the lower back and just hook your elbows towards each other. And then straightening your body all the way up. Three breaths. 
two breaths and last breath deep inhale exhale lower your legs back to halasana supporting your back all the way only if your feet are touching the floor then you may release your hands and interlock your fingers stretching your arms on the mat three breaths two breaths and last one exhale supporting yourself with the hands on the mat bending your knees slowly rolling back down stretching your legs down on the mat arms straight right underneath your butt pointing your toes and inhale pushing your chest up Top of the head towards the mat. Three breaths in the fifth pose, Matyasana. Two breaths, inhaling into your chest, into your heart center. And last breath. Inhale back up and exhale, releasing down. Opening your legs to the side. Opening your arms with your palms facing up and just taking in here a little minute to rest completely and fully. Feeling all the muscles which were working, congratulating yourself for the beautiful movements, for the beautiful breaths which we just did together. And now allowing all the tensions to leave your body. Fully relaxed. And deeply connected to your breath. Now I just want you to take as deep breaths and as slow breaths as you can. Three times. Slowly in. And out, out of your mouth. Two more times, deeply in, exhale, and last time, inhale, exhale, slowly moving your body and stretching yourself in any way you feel like. And then just bending your knees to the chest, rolling to the right side, and slowly sitting up. Legs crossed, eyes closed, just for one little moment. Allowing yourself to find the stillness. being fully present with your breath with your body and just taking one deep inhale bringing your palms to the heart center and exhale slowly opening your eyes thank you so much for practicing with me namaste